in the medical field uh, and a real problem particularly here in Gauteng is the state of our hospitals and complaints it seems are mounting at the Rahima Musa mother and child hospital the latest issue claims of sexual harassment allegedly by a physician there of course you'll know that the hospital came into sharp focus after pediatrician Dr Tim DeMeyer penned an open letter to the health department describing deplorable conditions for patients and staff at the facility. ENCA reporter Slee Ndela Mazakan has been following that story. She joins us now. Slee, hi. I know that you've been to the hospital uh, looking into this latest allegation, but just generally, could you tell me what you've seen and experienced at the hospital? Well, Sally, what we saw at the hospital today in particular was yet, uh, a pick, another picket, really, uh, in support of uh, Dr. Tim Demeyer, um, as well as a call to action to, in terms of the Gauteng Health Department from a uh, civil society organization, Alta. Um, unfortunately, we did not... We weren't able to get inside the hospital, but we did manage, of course, to speak to some patients um, who were coming uh, for some checkups, uh, just to get a sense as to whether anything has improved since that open letter, of course, um, that you have uh, said in your intro was uh, quite scathing uh, in terms of what it was saying um, with regards to the conditions inside the hospital, the kind of care uh, that doctors want to provide to patients, however, are unable to because um, of some of the issues uh, concerning that particular hospital. And uh, what we saw today uh, was out to then demonstrating to say that there needs to be some accountability. Uh, the health and health department needs to investigate the conduct um, of the CEO in terms of that suspension that was overturned, uh, of course, uh, uh, through the intervention of the MEC. And uh, also uh, calls for just a commission in general in terms of the state of health care. Um, here in the country as a whole. It's been described as a crisis that Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital is just one of many hospitals in this country um, that uh, is not functioning in the manner that it should. In fact, when patients get to these hospitals expecting to be healed, um, instead the opposite happens. And in fact, some of the patients I spoke to today who were leaving the hospital were telling me about how they've had family members giving birth on the hospital corridors because there are no beds. Uh, the treatment of uh, uh, of these patients uh, in terms of how hospital staff um, also uh, speaks to them. It just doesn't sit well with them as well. Uh, but the late, latest allegation, which is also very concerning, is one of sexual harassment against one of the doctors um, at Rahima Musa. We've seen a letter, an email, addressed to the Gauteng Health Department um, alleging that uh, there has been an incident of sexual harassment, a mother saying that uh, she had brought in her child who had broken her arm and uh, while uh, the doctor was examining her child at the same time uh, he was allegedly trying to kiss her um, as well as touch her inappropriately. Oh my word that is a very serious allegation and just one more thing uh, to add to the hospital woes. Now you've mentioned that the organization undoing tax abuse was picketing outside the hospital. I know that you, uh, I think, spoke to Wayne Duvenage. Let's just take a listen to what he had to say. When we see the reports from the doctors, when we see what is happening, um, there's just so much evidence that we're not running our hospitals properly. Our health care in this country is diabolical. And this situation with Tim, uh, Dr. Tim DeMeyer has highlighted, and I'm glad his colleagues have got around him. I think this is going to be the catalyst to a lot of um, investigation that needs to take place. But government is letting its uh, citizens down. This call for a commission is a very important one, and I think the minister and the MECs of health need to seriously uh, get down to business of getting competence back into hospital management. Uh, CEOs need a lot of experience. These are very complex uh, situations to manage and uh, we really need the right people to manage our hospitals and to listen to our doctors, to listen to our nurses, to listen to our patients and to take these matters seriously because we cannot have this death and destruction of lives that is happening every single day, not only at hospitals, at clinics as well. Yeah, and Slee, Wayne Divinage is very much echoing the sentiments of the letter, the I am letter that is doing the round, which is supported by over 130 top medical personnel 
in Gauteng. Everyone uh, from the head of intensive care at Chris Hani Baragwanath, who we spoke to last night, they're saying victimization of people who blow the whistle on bad conditions has to stop. But they're also saying things like CEOs who run these hospitals need the proper qualifications. Uh, so there are a lot of really important issues. And it sounds like uh, medical people are stepping in and saying we, need, we know what needs to be done and we know the right people to run these hospitals. Of course, we know as well that the Human Rights Commission visited Rahima Musa Hospital recently. What's the latest on their probe? Mm. So, yeah, we did see uh, some officials from the South African Human Rights Commission conducting an oversight visit, uh, especially coming out of that letter that was penned. And uh, I think you'd remember, Sally, that uh, the Human Rights Commission's Wang Jones, uh, when uh, he was asked about, you know, the CEO, his interaction with the CEO, uh, he had mentioned that uh, he, um, the CEO was quite dismissive and that, uh, you know, there was a, an attitude really there uh, in terms of uh, his interaction with her, not describing it as, as one that was quite positive. But uh, we know that the Human Rights Commission itself as well has been receiving complaints uh, with regards to uh, the, the uh, hospital. And we understand uh, that uh, they will be uh, returning to to the hospital sometime possibly um, in the next coming weeks in terms of uh, trying to see whether there's been any progress um, made uh, following their visit. But let's take a listen to what Wong Jones has to say. The commission appreciates the constructive interaction with the hospital management. We have since received a request to conduct a follow-up visit to the hospital. We are amenable to this request and the commission is in the process of arranging dates for this visit. We have received complaints from patients at the hospital and we hope that the hospital will be in a position to address the concerns that were raised by the whistleblower and the concerns that have been raised by patients at the hospital. All right, so there's a lot of eyes on Rahima Musa Hospital and, of course, other Gauteng hospitals. Uh, a very important issue. Thank you for bringing us the latest. ENCA reporter Slindelo Masekani.